getting nervous. I'm getting slightly nervous. Hi guys, it's like 10, 10 a.m. Um, and I have a bell party today at 2.30. I'm very, very excited because this is the very first party I ever booked. I did a party before this because the date was sooner, but this was the first one I ever booked. I know my face looks <laughs> not princess worthy yet, but I think I've learned from my mistakes and I'm going to pack the car first and then I'm going to do my makeup and get dressed. So. Okay, so I am putting the materials in my car. I still have to grab the mason jars. But I brought the tissue paper for the roses, the fuzzy sticks for the stems. I brought some paper so we could have some glittery leaves. Um, and then I did an example of the craft that we're making here just so that they can see what it looks like. Um, I also brought some <laughs> pixie dust, um, I brought chip, I have the magic mirror in here somewhere, and I have this big book that's just the Beauty and the Beast story, and then I have a side story book back here, and I brought the soundtrack to Beauty and the Beast, and I have to take out the soundtrack to Frozen that I was listening to yesterday. Bonjour. So, this is my bell wig, and I need to put her on. I styled her myself, and I'm really excited about it. I've worn her a couple of times, but that's what she looks like. I also grabbed my bell accessories, so I can put those on, too. Taylor's oldest time. Okay, makeup is done, um, and so I'm grabbing all the stuff for the bell costume, which means giant puffy skirt, giant um, ring skirt, and the actual costume. So I'm gonna have to get my brother to lace me up. It's gonna be an experience, but um, it's one o'clock, so we need to leave in like 20 minutes, which is just about right. <laughs> Okay, so the car is now on, thankfully, because it's so hot in here. My petticoats are back there because I can't drive in them. Uh, my dress is already taking up the whole front seat, pretty much. Um, so I just got laced in. Um, everything's good. And uh, we're leaving right on time, so that's awesome. This is my driving situation. So as you can imagine, if I was wearing the petticoat, there'd be like no place for my feet to go. Anyway, so I'm glad I didn't wear that. But it's going to be a hassle trying to get the petticoat on like outside of the house. So Belle has only driven a couple of feet. Um, I was hungry and we had time to get food. So I was like, let's go to Wendy's. It's on the way. It's really quick. And um, I was checking my bank account while in line and I realized I only have 85 cents in my bank account. It takes a couple of days to process the gig salad payments, so I don't have any money in my bank account, so we ended up going to QT where I have a membership card. I'm still really excited. I think this party is going to be a really good party because the mom is just the sweetest. Like, I, I was talking to her for a good couple of days before she booked. It seems like it's going to be a really good party. It's an hour, which is a good amount of time, and we're going to read some stories. We're on time. We're way ahead of schedule, actually. And uh, I get to eat beforehand and there's no crazy running around town. So that's great. It's only 25 minutes away. Okay, so we are in the party neighborhood. We just passed the house and we went and parked in a different cul-de-sac because I have to put all of my petticoats on and we'll see how that goes. I don't know how easy this process is going to be, but Chase is here to help me. So we'll see. We parked here and the party's like straight across there, but I don't know if you can see it, but there are people over there and I think they might see me, so I'm gonna have to move somewhere else.
party is over now. We just finished and it was absolutely amazing. I think this is my favorite party that I've ever done. The mom was the nicest person ever. Everything was decorated in Beauty and the Beast fashion. Like the cupcakes were roses and we actually got two um, to keep. And um, we did the rose craft, which worked out pretty well. <laughs> and I just, I can't get over how nice the mom is because towards the end of the party, uh, the kids took me up to the rooms because they wanted to show me their princess and truck theme rooms. Um, and then the kids went down the stairs first and the mom was like hanging back for a second. She was like, hey, I found your website. I thought it was really well done. I think it's really pretty. And I saw that you were in high school. So you're so professional for being in high school. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. So that made me feel really good. And it was just the best party ever. She tipped me $10. She tipped my brother $10. And um, everything was great. The only like snag of the party was that after we came out where I had parked was like a cul-de-sac over and I parked in between these two houses because everything else you could have seen the party through because there was like a hole in the bushes after the party was over there was a lady there and she just would not let it go that I parked somewhat in front of her driveway like it was only less than a fourth of her driveway was covered by it was still plenty of space to get out and then she like sat there for an extra 15 minutes while we were trying to get in the car and I was trying to leave like berating me about how I shouldn't have parked in front of her driveway um and then she asked me if I was going to a graduation and um if I was a Disney character I actually recognized who I was and so I just wanted to get out of there as soon as possible so I had to drive with my petticoat on it was an experience anyway so we're gonna go to the square now take some pictures in front of the fountain and then I get to go undress and look at the pictures from the party Okay, so we just took pictures at the fountain. They look really good because they remind me of the pictures from the Beauty and the Beast fountain. In the beginning of the movie, Chase took them for me. Um, and I only wore one of my petticoats because it was just going to be a hassle to put them on. A couple of kids asked for pictures, which was nice. Um, so we're just going to go home now because today has been a full day and I'm ready to get out of this ball dress. <laughs> ball gown. Ball gown. Okay. It is 5.22, I just ripped off my dress as soon as I came in, and the clothes that I was wearing underneath the dress, like my leggings and stuff, they feel like I went swimming, oh my gosh. Um, I am so ready to get out of this wig, even though it is so beautiful. I love it, this is one of the first wigs I styled um, right after Rapunzel, so. We got some pretty cool shots at the square, which was nice, but I'm ready to just rip this off, so let's actually do that. Okay, so the wig is put away, the costume is semi put away, it needs some maintenance, and um, I am ready to take this off because it is so constricting. Oh my god, I'm wearing like five different wig caps because <laughs> yesterday when I was Elsa, apparently one of the kids saw a little bit of my brown hair sticking out and so they were like, you're not Elsa. I was so scared, so I didn't want that to happen again, although I am Belle today, so that'd be a lot less big of a deal. It's just we were running late yesterday. So today's party went really well. I think that this is my favorite party that I've ever done. Not that I've done a lot of parties, but the mom was so sweet. The kid's really nice. It was only her second birthday party, so I expected her to be a little jumpy, and she was. She really just wanted to be next to her mom. The craft went pretty well. Chase helped set up. Um, there was actually this one kid, he was the brother of the birthday girl, and he kept wanting to see my carriage, because that's how I told him I got here, and I was leaving on a carriage with Philippe, and he was like, I want to see it, I want to walk you out. Hey mom, can I, can I go with Belle to see her walk out? And I told him that the carriage couldn't fit down the street because of all the cars parked for the birthday party, so it's going to have to pick me up at the end of the neighborhood, and he, he was satisfied with that, so that was good. Um... Just everyone was so sweet. There was a couple of girls that just wanted all my attention, which, I mean, it makes me feel good, but I tried to focus it on the birthday girl. She was just a little young for it. Um, <laughs> everything was really good. The pictures turned out well. Today, overall, was just a great day. I think today was actually better than yesterday, even though I had two parties yesterday. Um, but I love being Belle. She's my favorite, so that was a really rewarding experience. Anyway... Um, thank you so much for watching my video, and hopefully I'll see you soon because I have some more princessy stuff coming up, um, and I filmed a Belle makeup tutorial today too, so if you want to know how to do this makeup, 
keep on watching or no <laughs> anyway <laughs> go ahead and comment what you would like to see from me because i'd love to make videos that you guys like to watch um and i'll see you later bye Both a little scared, not a one prepared.